Okay, welcome back to the M and M Show. I'm Michael, and my name is Michelle. We're back in the kitchen. The M and M Kitchen. The M and M Kitchen. Okay. So we've got uh, we had fried chicken. Mm -hmm. We've got fried chicken, and we're going to do it. It's lunch time. So I got to bring nice something to the relationship. Yeah, you got to bring a, a bit of side. I got to bring a side. Side love. Got a little side love, huh? Got to bring some love. You, the, it's a partnership, so it is. everybody brings something to the table. Right. I'm bringing chicken because that's your favorite thing, right, and you're right. my hero. I want to honor you. Okay. And what are my, some of my favorite foods? Uh, salad. I love salad. Yes, salad. I love raw vegetables. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Especially with the uh, the fried chicken, mm -hmm. it's always nice to have sort of the opposite. Yes. Very fresh. Yes. Bit of crunch. Yes. And um, but I gotta think. First of all, let me let me thank you for giving me the big piece of chicken. How was it? It was incredible. <laughs> incredible and not just because it was chicken it was the big piece did it taste like mama's chicken it tastes like mine Be a little bit better oh really a little bit better because it was induced with the love of my lady and that's that's this if and there's a title of this episode it's treat her like a lady we got to rediscover uh the, the the beauty of when, why, why? womanhood femininity just, i mean we got to get for this is for the men we got to get rid of all these damaging narratives out there that women are our only fans, models, or you, you remove your uh, sex-colored glasses, uh -oh. and we got to start treating women like the women the, that they are. The, the we got to treat them like ladies. Yeah. Uh, I think that is important. So I'm going to treat you like so a lady. You're going to cook for me. Yes. You're going to cook my yes. favorite meal, which seems to be quite easy. But yes. Nevertheless. Because so if I was cooking for me, it would be more chicken. That's yeah, true. I wanted to cook more chicken. That's true. But I'm going to treat you like a lady. So you start with the... I got some ingredients. Good. I got the ingredients to treat her like a lady, my brothers. So I got some 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 compassion lettuce. How's that? That's a good start. Is that a good start? Compassion. Lots of compassion. 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 Even the narratives that are out there. I really believe why feminism has risen is because men have stopped treating women like ladies. So right. let's get you some, let's get some uh, compassion going. Okay. Uh, first of all, we need... Um, and we've made it easy kay. for you today, babe. You have, okay. Yes. okay. You don't even need to wash. I don't even need to wash. Or, or cut. It's In all Jesus there. Jesus' name. Okay. So what have we got? You're, that's, okay. You like this. I do, rocket. I do. Okay, this is a little salad. This is a little rocket or arugula, arugula. as they call it in America. Yep. Arugula. Um, but this is going to be the ingredient to treat you like a lady okay. for all the brothers out there. Compassion. Nice. Right? Compassion is not only a mercy project, it's also part of your marriage. Come on. It's also part of your dating. Men, if you're single, you got to treat the sisters with, you got to put some compassion. One of the ways we can treat women like ladies is just having compassion on women. It's not easy to be a woman. It's not easy to be a woman. I mean, all the stuff that's online, all the stuff, that, all the attacks, all, all it's just like, all the objectification, all this, again, the sex colored glasses. I mean, sadly, I wore them before I was a Christian. I just was, I never even thought about how poorly women are treated mm -hmm. in the media, how they're treated uh, uh, just all, all around. Mm -hmm. they're, they're looked at as people that are just, uh, it's just a physical thing. There's not an appreciation of their, their mind, which is why I think women are going, listen, we are smart, we can work, we can do these things. So I think um, for men, you know, when I saw how poorly a man I was in the eyes of God, it gave me a lot more compassion, mm -hmm. not only for my mother, uh, who went through a lot, sexually abused by a man, um, but then it made me go, wow, I, I, I'm going to someday be a father and I'm going to have a daughter. Mm -hmm. And right. I want. How do I want men to treat my daughter? I don't want my man. I want, to, I want them to treat her like a lady. Absolutely. And if they don't have any compassion, then they won't treat her like a lady. Um, I think the other thing I've learned is um, probably in our dynamic is communication. Mm -hmm. Open communication. I think women value that. What do you think? Open communication versus closed communication? Yeah, kind of like let's talk. Uh, something guys don't want to do. Guys don't usually want to talk. We speak in headlines. You you kind of want to talk. We want details. <laughs> yes, you want details. want details. Yeah, I think communication is huge. Yes. As you always say, the Samaritan woman had the longest dialogue with Jesus in the Bible. That's right. So she in John four. Yeah, and so that's I mean that even though I make fun, that is a, that's in their brothers. Jesus met his and her needs. That's what's so beautiful about it. He did. He had. But a, she realized. He realized this woman needs to talk. Well, not only did he realize she needed to talk. He knew that she had things that needed fixing in her, but he didn't make fixing her more important than loving her there you go. and just having that open dialogue. 
I mean, as soon as he saw her, he's like, okay, you got five dudes. You here flirting with me, talking about give me some more. I think she would flirt a little bit. That's my opinion. She could have. <laughs> yeah, but he, he, he just spoke to her. I think, man, we can't just be trying to fix women. Mm. We have to have that open communication where we at least have that dialogue. And then, then in time, she kind of saw, it. wow, she goes, I see that you're a prophet. And it, it, it's only, she only saw that he was a prophet when he communicated. That's right. When he, he, he was the, um, he was the lamb before he was the lion. Right. Right. Jesus is described as the lion of Judah, but he's also the lamb of God. Right. He listened. He, listened. he, he took a back seat. He let her kind of lead yeah. even the conversation for a little bit with a lot of questioning. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think, I think it's very important communication. Okay. Open listen. communication. Let's add, so we're adding some open communication okay. right here. Okay. Open communication. Okay. I got some open add communication. Some sweet leaf lettuce. Okay. Sweet leaf. I got this another. It's a mixture of everything here. Yeah. This is, it takes a lot of skill I, to do this. You see how the hand is pouring. I like The crunch. holding of the bag. Now, okay. if, I was, if I did it, I would have just dumped it, but yeah. you like this little yes. situation <laughs> right here. Men give all Treat their heart yes. to this situation. See that? See how that's going? I just want it to we be valuable. We learned earlier valuable. that men really desire all in. Right. No, but you see how I'm doing it? How I'm doing that? That's called sensitivity. Oh, I see. There's a method to the madness. If we're going to treat our ladies like ladies, we've got to be... We can't just get a, jump all in it. No. we got to be sensitive. sensitive. Which also that? the Bible says to be considerate. Right. Look at that. One leaf at a time. Look at that. Lovely. Right. I'm being sensitive. Is that... Is that that's not been my Delicate. strength. Delicate. 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 I got another word. Tenderness. Tender. <laughs> tenderness. Okay. I think I think yeah. you would not say tender tenderness, but I've seen in our relationship what helps you feel like a lady isn't when I'm saying, um, you know, okay, I'm gonna be sensitive to you. Mm. It's when I'm being more tender with you. Yeah, that's a great English word, tender. Tender. Just. Because it, it, it emotes uh, kindness. Right. Tenderness emotes kindness, whereas sensitivity is more like you're walking on eggshells. Exactly. Where tenderness is more, much more of a, a warm word. I like Loving. that word because women are incredibly strong. Incredibly strong. I know we say that men are stronger, and I appreciate you saying it. My mother was very strong. So to endure mine. what she went through, yes. to go through the hell, to be sexually abused. She was abused in some really difficult situations by people that were very close to her. Mm -hmm. And she still gave me what she gave me. You know, I get emotional talking about it a little bit, to be honest. Um, but it, it changed my view of, like women are strong. Mm -hmm. And so I like to use that term, not just, if we're gonna treat women like ladies, and I think there's even a kickback. Women are saying, listen, we are strong. You don't know what we've gone through. I mean, there's a lot of women, even in our church, there are women that have gone through things in our church mm -hmm. I don't think that men could have gone through. I think women have higher um, pain thresholds. In some cases, yeah, I would argue that that's yeah, the yeah. truth. Especially with birth. Probably God gave us that yeah. to endure such a traumatic experience. <laughs> yeah, so I think adding, um, I mean, I was being sensitive. Maybe we can add the tender. other ingredient. Tender. Tenderness yeah. is uh, sensitivity with love there and you go. kindness. Yeah. Yeah, and I think kindness goes a long way. So, brothers, ask your wife, does she see you as tender? Single brothers, ask the single sisters, are you are you known as tender? Not where you treat them like they're you know, so sensitive, you gotta walk right at each No, but treat them with tenderness. And I think that comes with words, right? Yes. That's huge. Yes. Words, because words, the Bible says, pierce like a sword. Yeah. And uh, they can really, really harm us. So yeah. I think words are really important. How we say things, yeah. the tone we say things. I think it works both ways. Yeah. But um, yeah. Yeah, and that's where I've, thank you Kind for your mercy. words. Yes, I've been, I've been, sometimes I, I, I've, I've been not strong. been. Yes, <laughs> stroppy, would you say? Is that a good word? Stroppy. Stroppy, strong. Yeah, I've got to, I've learned to be more tender. I've learned not to use words in a way that really hurt you. Because mm -hmm. I've done that and I'm so sorry for that. Oh, yes, um, I forgive you. And I think the thing is I see that I don't like seeing you that way. I don't like seeing you hurt. Right. Um, and it takes a deep level of love because men can be very selfish and we only want what we want, but I can, I see how, if I'm gonna treat you like a lady, I gotta, I gotta be tender. I gotta, I gotta be sensitive. I, I need to understand the importance of these things, having a great uh, communication. So that's why I was trying to put some little tenderness. Yeah, very tender. In the, in the tender, sensitivity. Lovely. In, in the deal. Okay, now we need right. some more um, ingredients to make this salad. Okay. You notice how I'm stretching out, how I'm adding to the relationship here. We do here. need onions. Okay, we need at onions. Some point. Okay, onions, onions, for onions. For the dressing. Onions for the dressing. Okay, onions are gonna be trust. Okay. 
and honesty. Okay, uh, onions make you honest because you cry. <laughs> so we get ready to put some onions in there. Uh, so if you want to treat your woman like a lady, be honest. Mm. Even if you got to say bad things like your sins. Truth and love. Truth, speak the truth in love. So shall I uh, chop this on up and put this sure. on in there? Do you want me to, yep, oh, I, I can think chop I got too. It. I think I got it, but um, maybe you can tell me if I'm on the right track with some of the ingredients I put into this relationship. The honesty, open communication, sensitivity, compassion, compassion helps treat her like a lady. Yeah, and um, I like the, actually the sense of the uh, definition of what is it, compassion is to come alongside. Yes. That's really a, a great definition. And It's not just about saying, pitying a person. Actually, that's not compassion. Right. That's not, but compassion is actually coming alongside and bearing with the other person in their struggle, in their pain. Yeah. And I think that really helps marriage when we bear our burdens together. Bearing them together, okay, compassion. The other um, thing that maybe this is a thought, I think this is one of the things that has helped me to treat you like a lady is the other uh, Greek meaning to that word compassion, when Jesus comes alongside mm -hmm. and it says he saw the crowds and um, he was compassion. moved by compassion. The oh, Greek yes. word means to be moved in your bowels. Literally, it's where we get to term gut feeling, mm. right? I think men have a gut feeling when we know we've, we've not been sensitive to women. Mm. And to have that, that when that goes away, then you're, you're hardened by sin's deceitfulness. Oh, so put it in here, babe. Oh, okay. That's okay. Okay, I messed up. Okay. And I usually cut them uh, in, in, in. Oh, you want me to yeah. cut them? Okay, maybe, yeah. should I leave those in there and then do some more? Yep. Okay, we'll do some more. Here we go. That's fine. Awesome. Oh, we're gonna make the- Dressing. Okay, dressing, okay. So this dressing is just vinegar and salt. Vinegar and salt. And then you marinate that for oh, uh, yeah, that's right. a bit, right? We love, you love this dressing. Oh, Maria Hart actually gave this. This dressing is, is with the chicken. This is a chicken. bit of a Dominican uh, salad dressing. Mm -hmm. That uh, This shout out to Maria best, Hart. One of Maria our best Hart, friends, let me tell you something. Michael and Maria Hart have changed our marriage. They have. They have. They've All this stuff that you see, we're taking the Eminem show. Uh, we got to give credit to a few people that have helped us be who we are. The one uh, couple is easily Michael and Maria Hart. Uh, they're going to be on the Lisbon uh, mission team. Uh, we've obviously got to give uh, some great encouragement to, uh, to them for just being there with us. And I think that's um, the key to marriage is having a couple in your life that you trust completely. Talking about trust and openness. Mm -hmm. Trust and honesty. Yeah, it's very, one of the ingredients important. to treat her like a lady. Yeah. Yep. What really helps women, I think, is having another couple in your life mm. that you can have as a safe space to. When we, I mean, we we go to them when we hit um, when we hit a wall. Absolutely. When you feel like I'm not listening and I feel like you're not listening. Right. And instead of like fighting each other, we go into a situation with our mentor, like a mentor relation, not mentors, but safe space. Right. Um, uh, that help kind of help us see each other's the male side and the female side and then usually we get results yeah and I think the cool thing about it is if you're in a you, we've created this relationship by giving trust so we've given Michael and Maria trust and uh, we've said listen you're because when they came to us they go no you need to help us we go yeah we will, but you, right. you 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 need to help us as well. So I think that is a that was just an agreement, and we decided to love them and help them, and they helped us in our relationship. And that's that's a great shout out to those of you that are out there, whether you're single or married. Pull people into your life. Absolutely. Give them trust, and you'll get trust. Yep. Um, and it'll help you to have relationships that can uh, point out things and be honest to you, uh, and then you can take that into your dynamic mm -hmm. uh, and then you can become someone who values that men don't necessarily um, sometimes see that as a big deal but it is a big deal if you're gonna treat her like a lady she needs you to, to understand trust and you sometimes you need another man in your life to help you that's what I needed I need another man to talk to me and go hey listen this is just be honest and you know because sometimes guys we, we're not honest <laughs> right you know we're scared we're afraid to be honest if I tell her you know here you go sweetie okay now you want to make the dressing but have I been honest yes you've been okay. Okay, yep. cool. <laughs> does that help, Sorry, does that help? Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, she's moving. There it is. There's that egg. We're gonna make Get some wok grill right okay, here. What are you putting in? Vinegar, that yeah, right? that's right. I'm just telling the audience. Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay, get some vinegar. Okay. Cider vinegar from Sainsbury. <laughs> taste the difference. <laughs> and you can't taste the difference. You can. Okay. Actually, uh, that's not the Taste the Difference brand, though, of Sainsbury. It's oh, a cheaper it? version, sadly. It's a cheaper version. Michael Adrian bought it on his budget. Michael Adrian. That's my son. Love him, though. We, He's usually, get the, we usually get the better quality cider vinegar. <sighs> okay. But amen. All right. It's going to have to work And then you want to add some salt. Okay. Add some salt. Okay. How much? Uh, just you a pinch. You want me to measure? Like, okay. Just okay. a pinch. Or maybe um, half a tablespoon. I would say probably a quarter. Yeah, a quarter of that is a quarter of that spoon would be a quarter of a tablespoon. Okay, quarter of a tablespoon. Got the Perfect. vinegar, the and onion, then you salt. Do your little oh man, oh, okay. Yeah, I love this stuff. And then you just mm. want to use that little red spoon, probably okay. just to stir it, or you could even use this. Spoon. Oh, baby, baby, this is gonna be good. I'm so adding to this relationship. So I got the big piece of chicken. Now I'm adding. I've added sensitivity to treat her like a lady. I've added compassion. I've added truth and honesty. Uh, I Lovely. think, um... And you could also do lemon in this, but today we're just going to do the vinegar. Mm -hmm. And lastly, uh, so this marinates now, so it kind of softens the onion and yes. makes it less pungent. Right, and then, take some of the acid out. Exactly, and some of the strength out. So then after that, at the very end, when you serve it at the table, you'll add olive oil mm -hmm. and then just, just toss the salad. Wonderful. So that's the salad. Is Wonderful. there any other thing you wanted to add to the treat her like a lady? Uh, ingredients? Uh, probably consistent words of encouragement. Mm. Yeah, you're beautiful. You're incredible. You're smart. You're smart. You are, um, you're well thought out. You are, um, you're a great friend. You're a really good friend. You're, you're an amazing, amazing mother. You're an amazing mother. You are uh, a great encourager. People love you very much. You are powerful. Uh, I remember taking one brother to the gym and I said, bro, you, you may not want to do that exercise. I do that with Michelle and she's really strong. And he, he tried to do it and he couldn't. <laughs> and if you're watching this episode, you know who you are, bro. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but I went, ma'am, my woman is powerful. And I really think you've allowed all the injuries and pain You've turned it into a conviction, a level of grit and in internal determination mm -hmm. that is uh, really seen in our church and all of our churches because you inspire the women to be great. Thank and you. That, that's who you are. And I love you very much. Thank you so much. Yeah. And you, you are my lady. Thank you. <laughs> You're my man. <laughs> and you get the big piece of chicken. And I get the big piece of chicken. We are coming to a close. Now, all we need to do is add this bit of oil. We've got our dressing. Yeah. You're cooking with Michael and Michelle. Yes. And this episode, once again, is treat the biggest her piece of chicken like over here. a lady. And uh, you got to treat her like a lady. Got to have some compassion. Got to. But what do you guys like to cook? What cooks up a great relationship for you? Um, is it? Is it? What else? What do, what do you like to cook? What do you? I mean. Uh, put it in the comments. Tell us what you you desire, whether it's dessert, even sweets. We do a really, really good. We do some great cakes and everything. But what for cakes. you? What do you? Yeah, exactly. Uh, what what do you desire? What do you want to see cooked? What do you? What do you? Especially in a relationship, like what do you think cooks up a great relationship? Uh, yeah. Is it more than? I mean, what are some other ways to treat it like a lady? Or or yeah, what are your what are your some thoughts about? Um, the things that we I shared as well with men and how feminism has hurt. I think the masculinity that we really need mm -hmm. men to show up, the heroic masculinity that yeah. is so important. So you have made the salad. Yes. I did the chicken. Yes. I've chosen the four largest pieces of chicken. Oh my lord. For you to munch on. Jesus is lord so of my life. So now we want to just put the uh, oh, dressing on inside here, and I'll do the, okay. the okay. honors. Watch this here. Okay, you know how you love okay, to be yeah. sensitive. Exactly, being sensitive. Okay, that's part <laughs> of treating her like a lady, that's right? right? The sensitivity, all, right. all your heart business. Right. And you're yeah. being compassionate back to me because I've been compassionate to you, yes, right? Yes, I'm showing so, you the provider, the hero, mm -hmm. the anchor. Mm. The After protector. all my mistakes, okay. Compassion, adding little, so there's compassion, there's sensitivity, open communication, treat her like a lady, words of encouragement. Going Bang. into that salad. Bang. And now it's all there. Toss that bad boy. Okay, toss that salad. That's good. like a relationship, isn't it? It's all coming together. It's, and, it's choppy in the beginning, but it's just like a relationship. It comes each together. Key, each flavor complements the other. Exactly. Like, it's not bland. And it's different. I mean, you don't it's go, not, hey, you're not mm. like me. You're not salad. Mm. So right. We do that in relationships. You're not like me. You know, we, we don't need to do that. We just need to compliment each other. 
beautiful. Yeah. That's this right. Is good. And you giving me the big piece of chicken. I gave you the big piece of you chicken. You are the most beautiful woman this in the world. This is huge. I'm making sure you eat a lot of your greens. Thank you, beautiful. You got protein there. You're incredible. There you have right. it. The M and M's cooking with M and M. M and M F C. Bang. M and M fried chicken in the house. I'm on, baby. See you guys next time.